practice SEO. Use good quality tools, document everything, start testing and doing things yourself and get someone who's gonna train you really well. All right, my man, Josh, how are you doing today? Good, thanks, Paul, how are you doing? doing great i'm doing great so i want to let our audience know like this this episode is about building an agency how to build an agency giving tips from agency owners i mean you're a successful agency owner and i'm actually trying to start my own agency i would love to know please introduce yourself a bit with your background like how you got into seo or digital marketing yeah yeah great to be here um look yeah my name is josh blakely uh very beginning of 2020 i uh started my agency i I joined a coaching mastermind program at the time to learn SEO, uh, to start to learn digital marketing, and just kind of dived in. I, I was I was working full time as a as a teacher at the time, so it was really about okay, let's let's get this working. Let's find some business owners to partner with. Um, started doing that, was getting the results, following the training, and that's when I realized, you know, like this this really works. This is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a business model that can help business owners make more money like this this is fantastic and just went from there you know moved full time into the business uh and yeah we've just we've just grown since then um tell us a little bit i mean thank you for introducing us about how did your actual journey start into the um seo uh it started uh from really a facebook ad targeted me uh around learning a rank and rent seo model uh-huh. uh and then we just dived into that. I just started following the training, um, found business owners to partner with, started getting them results, started making them more money. And so that's when I realized, you know, this this works and this is what I've been looking for. I've been looking for a business model that um, was legitimate, helped people, you know, was profitable. Uh, and digital marketing is, is great for that. I love that. So when you say rank and rent, for those that don't know what rank and rent is, what is like rank and rent? And is that kind of your business model today or has it kind of like, um, kind of like changed? Yeah. I mean, rank and rent is a lead generation model where you as a business owner own the assets. Uh, so, you know, your, your, uh, your website, social media profiles and things like that, but you are then sending those leads coming through those assets to, uh, businesses. And the big part of getting rank and rent to work is you do SEO on it. So, I mean, you, you learn SEO to do rank and rent, you know how to do SEO for your own agency site and for other business owners as well. So, um, that's how we started. And uh, from the beginning, we were hybrid pretty much of, of doing that and doing SEO for clients as well. Uh, and we're still, um, we're still somewhat of a hybrid, but, uh, definitely, mm-hmm. definitely more SEO. And then over time, we, you know, we brought in paid advertising channels and things like that. Um, so it, it's evolved. Nice. Since then. nice, nice. So you said back in 2020 is when it actually, your actual agency like um, started building up? Right before COVID, yeah. So, okay. So what excited you about starting your agency? Like what inspired you? Uh, I mean, being able to work from a computer to get results. I mean, all through high school, I thought I was going to go into IT, and uh, my teachers were encouraging me to do that. I was I was doing well, and I uh, I did a I signed up for a bachelor of educate a bachelor of IT in Australia, and uh, six weeks in, I I left. I just couldn't stand it, and then went into teaching after that. But you know, I've always had an interest in tech and and using software and uh, you know working on a computer, so. The draw card of the digital agency side is like you're not confined to your location. Um, When I started the agency, I was living in the US. So I was able to, you know, um, work with people back in Australia. uh, And, you know, there's just no boundaries for it. And the work flexibility Mm -hmm. uh, and and travel flexibility of being able to do that uh, is, 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 is awesome. Are you still teaching then uh, right now? Or are you full time uh, focused on your agency? No, no, full time in the agency. Yeah, we've been f- full time in the agency for a while. It's it's my wife and I. Uh, our team's in the Philippines, oh. and we love it. Love it. Nice, nice. Okay, so I want to get into like a certain software that you possibly you use, is which is Search Atlas, which is how we met. Uh, we were both part yep. of the Search Atlas community. I'm curious, like, how has Search Atlas uh, helped you grow your agency? Uh, I mean, Search Atlas, Atlas has been, been incredible. Like, uh, we, I mean, we were pretty early adopters of Search Atlas. 
I mean, I'd have to say probably two years we've been using it now. So we've seen the features increase and grow. And Mm -hmm. yeah, from the beginning, I mean, it replaced a lot of other softwares for us. And then the content writing came in there too. And now with with Auto version 2 being released, uh, we've got a whole bunch of sites on that. And, um, you know, the ranking results... Lead increase, you know, no form inquiries, phone calls, those mm. those have been um, just great. But, uh, you know, Search Atlas has just allowed us to implement SEO and our SEO strategies um, really easily. So uh, we love it. Yeah. Man, two two years, that's that's quite a long time because, I mean, I've been using it for only about six months and I'm seeing some really great results too. <laughs> and my, my, my favorite part is uh, auto uh, the auto AI feature too. I guess I only joined when it was auto 2.0 so i've never experienced sure. the first auto yeah. but yeah auto auto 2.0 is is pretty awesome i mean so I'm, I'm assuming like um like i really love that the part of the features where you save so much time like you, you if you can do a few things you can save like a whole year's worth of work right just just running yeah. that auto i mean is what what are other things that are you using within auto because i know there's you don't have to deploy everything there so i'm curious like i'm kind of i'm I want to pick the brains of other agency owners of like what are they actually using within auto if, if or, or maybe you're using it all like what are you using in there yeah uh i mean first of all just having a, a high level overview of everything on the site is like just in itself yeah uh awesome because then you can just segment and, and see which things you need to tweak um but i mean I, we, we're using most of the features really of auto okay. um yeah it, the Internal linking. I mean, we we were using a tool to internally link yeah. in in our pages, and I mean, Search Atlas as you're writing content actually allows you to connect in your sites and put in the internal linking as you go. But to be able to do the one click until internal linking is is been great. Uh, dynamic dynamic indexing, all the Google Business Profile um, features. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's probably. I mean, out of auto is brilliant not much that we're not using there so it's awesome nice nice okay so how about some results like how fast have you been able to see results or like i mean or how you know how fast or what type of results have you been seeing i've been reaching like rank top rank rankings for um you know keywords within weeks days like let me know like how you are what kind of uh, results you're experiencing you know, with the platform itself. um yeah i just i just finished uh just finishing up putting a case study together actually for uh you know our main niche is landscape uh, and hardscape contractors. And we have a landscaping client uh, we started working with just pretty much as we started using Otto. And, you know, we had some of our own things we did, like uh, adjusting uh, page titles and H1 uh, headings and things like that. But we put it into Otto at the same time, um, and the results have just been like a continual increase. So... Um, I can share my screen mm-hmm. with with that if you'd like yeah, to see yeah, some. Please, I do have I do yeah. have it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Please share your screen. I want to see like yeah if you have that case study. So and also how can people get a hold of that case study if they want to check it out themselves? We'll be publishing that on our landscape and hardscape contractor marketing website shortly. So um, that'll that'll be up for people to see all the details of. Um, but I mean, just jumping into the Google Search Console insights. Uh, can you see my screen okay here? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure can. I can, I can Ooh, zoom it in okay. if we need to. Uh, but we, we onboarded the client um, like in, in April here. So you can just see already <clears throat> that first oh, yeah. initial increase. Um, and it's been steady since then. Uh, I mean, we haven't just been using Search Atlas in isolation, but we're using yeah. Auto in everything we're doing for this client, uh, which is on-page SEO to technical SEO and off-page SEO. But... You know, a bulk of that is being done through um, through Search Atlas. I love that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, mean, I love seeing the, the Google Search Console. When even when I the moment when you applied, uh, installed the Pixel, and then you hit deploy, you can already a few days after you can already see that lift going up. Yeah, I mean you can see the traffic increase, and I mean if we put it into six months from when we officially started with the client, and uh-huh. yeah, they they had a nice looking website. Um, but there was no uh, no geo signals really in in the pages. So um, mm-hmm. since we took over, you can see the traffic has exploded uh, there. 
um, and yeah. they weren't getting a ton of local traffic, but you know, we built out specific uh, local service pages, uh, service location pages. We optimize the existing service pages. We've been doing blog article content. We've been doing press releases. Uh, and then we're mirroring everything we're doing there onto the Google business profile uh, as well. But um, yeah, those are- That's a great tip right there. Uh, great tip. Why is that yeah. important? Like why should people um, um, mimic that same thing to their Google business profile? Is that, does that well, actually uh, help? Do you think? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, Google is is reading websites more than we've ever seen. And I guess that's that's the thing with SEO, you're just going to be testing and monitoring things. But oh, yeah. now we're just seeing Google is, is uh, it's looking through your website, connecting to the Google business profile more, more than ever. And, mm -hmm. you know, being able to take that content you're creating for the website, of course, you want to repurpose that. Um, for your Google business profile and and your other social media channels, ideally as well. Uh, oh. But you know we're we're seeing results of that. Nice, nice. If someone wants to build their certain own agencies, like for myself, I, I'm a consultant and I do want to scale to that point, right? Because sometimes you can do things on your own for a few times. But you mentioned you actually have a team helping you out. So I'm curious, like someone like um, someone that starts off maybe as a consultant, uh, what are some three tips that you can give? me and others out there on how to like kind of scale their business. Yeah, I, I think the big thing is working out what do you want to do in the business. If you want to be the SEO strategist, um, then you're going to have to learn SEO and practice SEO. So those two things is you want to find reputable people who are going to teach you how to do it, who can show the results they've gotten. And then you want to start testing and doing things yourself, like build out your own websites and test that, that's why um, the rank and rent is actually quite good in testing SEO for yourself because uh, you're you're putting your <laughs> resources on the line and doing that. You're not taking a client site that you don't know what you're doing with and charging for SEO and just um, you know figuring it out. Uh, so mm -hmm. test test things that way and, and get someone who's going to train you really well. Uh, but I mean, then use good quality tools. And so how I built the agency was myself learning those SEO methods and then hiring on team members and teaching them our systems and processes, how we want things done, picking out what, you know, what, what, what are the 20% key SEO factors that are going to give you 80% of the results, you know, the, um, proprietor's principle around that. And so that's yeah. how we, we built out the SEO side of what we do. Love it, love it. When it comes to like processes, like is there any, can you give any tips on how you um, replicate your processes or build your processes for others, like or for others to follow? So I'm assuming that you have this um, SOP that you send out to your, your team and they just pretty much follow it. So like how can, what are some tips on building yeah. like a good SOP? Yeah, document everything. Um, more recently, I mean, Loom has been a fantastic tool for us because okay. now you can record a Loom video and um, you can edit it if you needed to, but there's like a one-click SOP uh, function now for Loom, and it just pulls out the, the transcript uh, in an SOP form for you. Um, so that's frequently oh. things even, even more so, but having the video explanation as well as that SOP, and then our trainings that we're paying for and of courses we pay for in the agency, our team has access to that, and so in our SOPs, we will reference that and get them to do that training as well themselves love that great tips right there love that never thought of just like actually um sharing out those certain you know because you're buying for the agency so you're actually buying for your team so you don't i mean if you may be buying for yourself but you i mean yeah you can just you should be sharing with your team because they need yeah. to learn the stuff yeah. they're paying for love that love that yeah. okay so thank you so much josh i mean thank you for so much of your time i would love for you to like um share share your um all your contacts and how can people get a hold of you and what type of digital marketing that you offer so you know if they have if they're in your area or whenever if they have a certain niche like I believe you said landscaping. I mean, yeah, they know who to head up. Yeah, so JBL Digital Marketing Automations and AI Assistance is, is our, our general agency that's been there from the beginning. But okay. uh, we've had our landscape and hardscape contractor marketing uh, specific agency uh, that was launched about a year and a half ago now. Uh, and that's specific to the landscape and outdoor living industry. So, um, you know, those are really our ideal clients at this point in time. Um, but we're also 
looking at everywhere we can bring in AI to. So that's uh, more of this business is probably more of the AI consulting and implementing that in businesses as well. So, uh, yeah, the best places to, oh. to reach us is through that. Love it. And what was your actual dot .coms and emails? Yeah, uh, so landscapecontractormarketing.com is our landscape uh, 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 business. And then jbldigitalmarketing.co is uh is our general agency here yeah just you can see the <laughs> the the badge there yeah all right love it love it yeah. <laughs>